I'd like to introduce the newest member of the Macedonian Academy of Arts and Sciences. He recently moved to Chicago, where he's a professor of, of the Slavic Languages Department at the University of Chicago. He is currently recognized as the authority on Macedonian language. Please welcome Professor Victor Friedman. Martina said uh, that I should say a few words about the Macedonian language, and uh, uh, one of the questions that people most often ask me is why I got interested in Macedonian. I'm not of Macedonian ancestry. My grandparents came to this country from Russia and Romania at the beginning of the century. Uh, and uh, what I always tell people, and it's true, is that my first interest was as a result of Macedonian folk music. I was, as are many Slavists of my generation, which is not so much the younger generation, more the middle generation, uh, we were um, in love with folk music and Macedonian folk music, as you all know, is one of the most beautiful in the world, um, certainly the most beautiful in the Balkans. And uh, so I learned the auto, uh, I learned various other dances, uh, even the Czechic, and um, uh, but it was just dancing, the, the uh, words to the music, I would learn just memorize like syllables, you know, to say Dino Mori and things like that. And then I uh, had the opportunity in graduate school to, uh, I was uh, in graduate school in uh, Slavic languages and literature, Slavic linguistics, and my professor, speaking of Golom, uh, came to me and he said, um, and the elder, he said, uh, Mr. Friedman, would you like to go to Macedonia this summer? I said, Kako there, of course. <laughs> a wonderful opportunity. So he had an invitation to the seminar and, uh, in Ochit, and so I uh, scraped together $200, which is what it used to cost in those days, if you were under 26 to fly to Ochit, and, uh, and went to the seminar. And I was immediately uh, enchanted by beautiful Ochit, by Macedonian hospitality, uh, a colleague of mine was working on the anthropology of weddings in the village of Peshtani uh, along the shore of Lake Ochrit. I was able to go there. I was entranced by Macedonian food and uh, by Makedos Garakia, and I decided I'm going to write my dissertation on this language. <laughs> the technicalities of Macedonia. You all are native speakers, or many of you are. Uh, I discovered that, well, actually, a, a couple of stories. Um, after I learned Macedonian, I found the whole new world opened up to me. There were Macedonians everywhere. I was uh, in San Francisco at a Greek nightclub. They were playing music, and I wanted them to play a belly dance, and I went up to the bouzouki player, and I didn't really speak Greek, so I said, And he said, And he said, Belgium on my way to Macedonia to do field work. Guy was sitting in the cab, I had to take a cab somewhere, he's reading a Greek newspaper. So I get in, I say, Kalisperas, that's about as far as I could get, and we switch it to French. And he says, Where are you going? Well, I'm on my way to Macedonia, and so on and so forth. He says, Oh, yeah, I'm from Macedonia. I said, Oh, mm -hmm. this is all in French, right? So then I tried, the he says, It's <laughs> Macedonia. It was in Macedonia, Macedonia is everywhere. It turned out that my father's best friend, um, whom I had known all my, in my childhood as Athen Pantios was actually named Athanas Pantia. He was <laughs> so a whole a whole world opened up for me after I studied Macedonian. Um, and then I was teaching in uh, the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill for 18 years. I um, taught Russian mostly, after all, it's the most powerful of the Slavic languages, what are you going to do? But one year I was going to teach Macedonian, and I had a big class of Russian students, maybe 20 kids, and I said, I'm teaching Macedonian next year, you should all take this language. It's a wonderful, interesting language, and it's much easier than Russian. It doesn't have any cases, they use prepositions, the accent is fixed on one syllable, it's always predictable, all these problems that the kids have with Russian. Some smart aleck in the back races her hand and she says, uh, yeah, well, what about the verb? 
Gales, you know, they're going to make me a talk. 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 You who have Macedonian as your native language, as your parents' language, have a wonderful treasure and one that is well worth keeping. I congratulate you.